So part of session two, session two, is you're gonna learn about barbells. Barbells are a great training tool and you must, must, must learn to master them if you're gonna be successful at doing CrossFit. So 28 millimeter training bar, it's 15 pounds. So we can scale your, your weight to any weight we want. This is a tw uh, 35 pound women's bar, which is 25 millimeters. This is a full size men's bar, which is 28 millimeters and it's 45 pounds. And so what we'll do is, is as you're, depending on your fitness level, is where we'll have you start with the barbells. If we need to go 15 pounds, it's because it's the right scale for you. Women's bar, right scale for you. Men's bar, right scale for you. In session two, we're going to teach you the deadlift, the press, and the back squat. These are the most, for our purposes, we teach them in a barbell complex, and these tend to be the most fundamental of movements. If you can master these, then you can move on to other movements. And a lot of times what we'll do is we'll teach these in series and then have you do several rounds of it. Now we have on this bar, it's the women's bar plus five pound plastic plates. These are clear and acrylic, so you can see where the bar rests on the body easily. Understand is that those points and those details are hugely important. The first thing we're going to do is Caitlin's going to set up for a deadlift, and I'm going to talk you through how I want her set up on a deadlift. Go ahead, please. Now the feet need to be underneath. Feet need to be underneath the, the basically the hips, right around the hip joint. Now the other side of the coin is is that once she sets up on it, I don't want to see any change in shape of the spine. She's going to push her hips back and her weight into her heels. Go ahead, please. And she's going to grab the bar. Bar's going to be right on her shin, her back's going to be nice and flat, her head's going to be nice and neutral in front. She's going to stand up. Notice the knees move out of the path of the bar, and she stands up. When she comes back down, she hinges forward, and then the bar gets past the knees, and then the knees bend. That's a basic deadlift. There's a lot of different varieties. Go ahead and relax, please. There's a bunch of varieties of deadlifts, but understand this is the most basic and most fundamental. If you can master this, then we can teach you a clean start, snatch, start, everything else down the line from there. But understand is that this has to be there. Let's do it again. Feet underneath the hips, spine nice and neutral, chest up, pushing her hips back until she gets her hands on the bar. She's going to reach around, grab her thumb on a hook grip, and she's going to stand up. And now back down. Ran into your knees on the way down. And come back up. Understand as she ran into her knees on the way back down, she's gonna lean forward, lean, 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 lean. Now bend the knees. There we go. And a little bit of difference, go ahead and relax a second. With a lighter weight like this, sometimes you'll find some errors because you're not getting enough feel up for it. And we'll give you more weight when you need it. Next piece of this is going to be transitioning the bar from the hang position, which is when she stood up with the deadlift, to her shoulders. Go ahead, please. Pick it up from the deadlift. Nice solid deadlift, please. What we're going to do is this thing called an Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. Do it and sing it. <laughs> All right. So what I want you to think about is, is jumping the bar right up close to the body. One of the fundamentals that you have to think about when weightlifting is keeping the bar close to the body. Go ahead and jump it up your shoulders. Now, she's in the passive rack. Her upper arm is parallel to the ground. This is great for some of the movements you're gonna learn later on. But what we wanna do is an active rack. We're just gonna grab the bar with all four fingers and push your shoulders up into the bar. Now, what's gonna happen is she's gonna reach over her head with this bar, but she wants to keep it close to her face, close to her face and straight up. So pull your face back and go right past the tip of your nose. And reset, came out in front a little bit. A little more active rack, spread your elbows and press. That's a better line of action. Better, better, better. And down, please. And spread your elbows and straight up. Now, she's just taken the transition from the hang to the shoulders and now press it overhead. Now she's going to bring it down behind her neck and she can absorb it with her legs. Watch her legs. Boom. She catches it with her legs. That is kind of mitigates some of the, the bar hitting the back of your neck. You do not want a heavy barbell crashing in the back of your spine. Now, wrists are going to be neutral. She's going to set her feet out in a squatting position. Same basic squat you learned during your 30, 20, and 30s, what you're going to do. The only difference is you have a barbell high in the back. Chest is up, back is straight, weights in the heels. She's going to sit back and down into the squat. Notice the range of motion. Nice hard arch in her back, chest is up, hips are clear, creases clear below the knees, weights in the heels. She's going to stand back up. That's your back squat. She can jump the bar over her head and bring it down to her waist and place it gently on the ground. Those are the fundamentals of your barbell complex. 
the way this is done in sequence is she's going to do three of each one of the movements. Three, three deadlifts. At the top of your third deadlift, you're going to transition the bar up to your shoulders, do three presses, and then three back squats. And we do this in sequence so that it basically you, teaches you how to, one, do all the movements, and two, it's enough repetitions where you start to actually start to get some kind of muscle memory. So let's do three deadlifts. And I'm going to coach her a little bit through it because that's what I do. I'm a coach. Go ahead and up. Hips rose a little bit too soon. Chest up. Chest up at the beginning. And whole body, push your feet through the ground. There you go, better. Again, and go. And jump the bar to your shoulders. And remember that uh, dirty diaper thing, if it's holding a dirty diaper in front of your face, you wanna pull your face back and reach over your head. Nice, a little bit bar forward and we'll finish it. And press. Now bar forward a smidge. That, and one more please. Straight up, 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 higher, higher, and bring the bar forward over your head. There we go. That's your finished position. Now transition it behind your neck, please. Now, wrists are neutral. Wrists are neutral. There you go. And widen your feet. Remember, when you're doing a squat, your heels should be underneath your shoulders. Make your, some of you guys are really flexible. You can get through this movement. Some of us that are not so flexible, maybe not so much. So, wrists are neutral. And... Knees out, hips back. Give me three squats. Nice neutral spine. Weights in the heels, please. You don't have to necessarily lift your toes up, but you understand is the balance needs to be in the heels. And stand. Take the bar overhead. And bring it right down the waist and to the ground gently. 